how close are we to achieving ethical labor recruitment in Southeast Asia, meaning that the costs of recruitment are paid by the employer and job seekers are placed in safe, fairly paid jobs? Talking to labor brokers and agents about how they do their job is a good first step in understanding the answer to this question. ဒီအမှုရူရဲ့ဟိုနေ့မှာအိုတဆုံးသာနဲ့နေတယ်ပေါ့เนาะအလုပ်သမားရှာဖွေပေးမယ်တကယ်ကျတော့ဟိုဘ
The amount of cost and fees passed on to workers in Southeast Asia is also highly problematic. As recent ITSER Institute research shows, workers are having to pay brokers and agents, and even have to pay back their employer, amounts that are nine times higher than what is mandated legally, and over ten times higher than what would be considered ethical, because of all the informal fees that are charged and extorted from this easily exploitable group. And the recruitment agencies know this. Workers are starting to understand the problems too with the help of experienced migrant workers who may have learned their lesson the hard way, but who are bold enough to talk honestly about it. Even when talking about anything but success in migration, making money and taking care of their family can be frowned upon or even stigmatized in home communities. These ambassadors of ethical recruitment and safe migration have new tools for outreach, education, and empowerment to job seekers that have totally changed the face of anti-trafficking. These are seasoned, trained up migrant workers and grassroots groups, not NGO or UN staff, and they are armed with their street cred, honest lessons learned, and new knowledge about the laws, processes, and costs of migration, and their smartphones. လုပ်ဆောင်ပေးနေပါတယ်ဒီမှာမြန်မာပြီးရောက်ခဲ့တဲ့အချိန်မှာမြန်မာမြန်မာရှိတယ်မြန်မာတို့ဒေသပတ်